Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the Wise Cam V2 indoor camera. So Wise just sent me over an indoor camera. Uh, now this camera is great for the price that you can get it for, which from Wise's website is $19.99. You can't beat it. Uh, it's 1080p full HD. It has night vision. It even has two-way audio. So if you haven't checked out any of the Wise uh, family of products, you definitely want to head over to Wise.com and check them out. Uh, so as you can see, you can also get it on Amazon.com. It's a little bit more expensive. Uh, ordering it directly from uh, Wise is, of course, about 20 bucks. If you want to get it from Amazon, then it's going to cost you an extra five bucks or so, uh, depending on uh, what you decide to go with. Nonetheless, uh, either price is a pretty good deal, and for twenty-five bucks, even at that price, you can't probably find anything better for an indoor camera. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So, of course, uh, for starters, we'll go ahead and unbox the device, just kind of show you what that looks like and what you get when you make that purchase. Uh, once we do that, then we are going to set up the Wise camera in the uh, Wise app. Uh, this is how you'll access it and be able to view it remotely and everything. Uh, once we do that, then we are going to uh, attempt to add the uh, camera stream into Home Assistant. Uh, this will require a little bit more setup because right out of the box you're not necessarily able to do that, but we're going to walk through all the steps to make that happen as well. And of course, lastly, I'll show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, so here we are. Um, it's a pretty small box. I mean, the whole camera itself is a pretty small form factor, which is really cool. Let's open it up here. And it's essentially a little cube. It does have a built-in stand that uh, kind of magnetized to the base of it that you can kind of separate and stand it up if you want to. Now on the back side, uh, you can see there is a uh, micro USB port that's for powering the camera. Uh, basically, uh, everything else that comes with it is uh, instructions on how to get it set up, as well as a micro USB cable for power and the little power brick. And then, of course, on the bottom there is a spot for the uh, micro SD card. Uh, so you can have local storage if you want to an SD card, as well as that button there on the other side is for setting it up and getting it paired to the Wise app. So that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, so for starters, we are going to need to download the uh, Wise app to our phone if you don't already have it. Uh, I have an iPhone, so we'll go to the App Store here and look for the Wise app. Once we get that downloaded, of course, if you haven't already set up an account, you will need to uh, create a username and password for uh, Wise to use either on their website or on the Wise app itself. Once we do all that, then we're ready to add our camera into uh, the uh, new app. So you'll go through and follow all the steps. Uh, there is a button, like I said, on the bottom of the camera that you will hold down. And then, of course, you'll kind of hear that camera start talking to you and uh, tell you it's ready for setup. So you'll go through and you'll add in your wireless uh, information so that it can get added to your uh, Wi-Fi there at your house. And then you'll take the camera and actually scan the QR code on your phone from the camera itself. Uh, once you do all that, it'll take a little bit longer, and then the setup is pretty much done. It'll come up and give you the option to name the device. Uh, you can choose one of the predefined names that they have listed there. I'm going to go ahead and go with Office Cam, because that's what mine is going to be set up, at least right now. Uh, and then it'll complete the setup, and you are ready to go. So as you can see here, uh, there is my messy office there in the top corner, so that is now pulling that in. 
let's just go through some of the settings that you have here. If you, if you hit the settings gear up in the top corner up there, then you, there's a whole list of settings that you can go through from event recording as well as notifications. So you can actually have this camera sending notifications uh, straight from the app itself. Uh, you also have the ability to uh, do detection settings, so it will handle motion and sound detection. It also has some alarm settings, which means basically this camera will listen for a smoke detector and it will send you an alert if one of those goes off in your house. So that's kind of cool. There's also some advanced settings there. You can remove the uh, timestamp or the WISE logo if you want. And if you're mounting the camera upside down, then you have the ability to uh, rotate the uh, video feed there. So that's uh, pretty much it for the default settings of the camera itself. Lots of cool features, a pretty neat little setup. You can take pictures and stuff right here from this main screen where you can also record uh, as well. And it will dump all that into your camera roll on your phone. So that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, so as I said before, in order to get this set up in Home Assistant, it's going to require us to put in some uh, beta firmware on the camera itself. So the way we are going to set it up is using RTSP, which isn't uh, available on the current production firmware. So there is a link on Wise's website, which you can see here, and I'll have this in the description below. But it walks through uh, all the instructions and everything on how to set this up. So, of course, uh, for starters, we need an SD card that we can format and use uh, to store this uh, firmware file. The easiest way to format the SD card is just to put it in the camera itself and then use the app to format the SD card right there on the camera. This way you know that the SD card is going to be formatted properly. Uh, once we do that, then, of course, I'm going to stick it back into my computer. And from here, I can download that bin file from the link that I'll have here in the description. And we're going to copy it to the root of that SD card. From there, you want to make sure that it's called demo.bin. I'm guessing that's what it's looking for whenever it first boots up. So that's what we're going to go with here. Once we do all that and you get the file copied over, you can go ahead and put that SD card back in your camera while your camera is turned off. And then what we're going to do is you're going to hold down that button that's on the bottom of the camera while plugging in the power cord. You hold it down until the light turns a solid blue on the back. Once it does that, basically they tell you to wait three to four minutes uh, for it to complete the update of the firmware. And then it should show back up in your Wise app on your phone. And as you can see, the camera is now live again on my uh, Wise app. And if I go into the uh, settings gear in the top corner and then down to the advanced settings, I now have an RTSP option down there at the bottom. So in order to turn that on, you're going to hit the little toggle there for RTSP, and then it'll ask you to create a username and password. Now let's be clear, this is not the WISE username and password that you set up on the WISE uh, app earlier. This is for the local camera itself only, so make it something that uh, won't be used anywhere else. Since I'm using mine with Home Assistant, I make my username has, and then for the password, I have a, a password that I like to use for this setup. Put all that in there, and then it will generate an RTSP URL that we will be able to use in our uh, Home Assistant component. Once you have all that in there, let's go ahead and jump over to uh, the next section. All right, so uh, the camera that we're going to be using is the FFmpeg or FFmpeg camera component in Home Assistant. Uh, basically, all we need with that is the RTSP uh, URL and then whatever name you want to give the camera. So uh, if we jump over to uh, the CLI here on uh, my Home Assistant setup, I'm going to uh, open up the cameras.yaml file here where I have all my cameras stored. And basically, I'm going to find an open spot down here at the bottom for the platform. It's going to be FFmpeg or FFmpeg. For the name, whatever name you want to give it. So I'm going to say office underscore wise. And then for the input, I'm going to list out the RTSP URL. So since I have mine stored in my secrets.yaml file here, I'm just going to put exclamation secret and then office underscore wise underscore RTSP because that's what is uh, listed in my secrets.yaml file. Once we have all that in there, we can go ahead and save it. 
And then I'm going to jump over to the web interface. We'll do a check config to make sure everything looks good. And then we're going to, of course, restart Home Assistant for these changes to take effect. We'll give that a second to come back up. And we'll go ahead and move on to that last step. All right, so basically here I am back in Home Assistant. This is my little test page that I use for all uh, testing and stuff I do within Home Assistant. And as you can see there in the middle, uh, there is the uh, Office Wise camera picture that I have listed there. And if I uh, click on that, of course it goes full screen and that's the live footage of the Office camera. Please ignore the mess. If my wife knew that that was shown there, I would probably be in trouble. But that's pretty much it. We now have RTSP set up on a custom firmware uh, in WISE. And uh, it now uh, syncs with Home Assistant and everything looks good. We can now use that camera feed within Home Assistant. So pretty cool. That's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Uh, overall, that's a pretty. it was a pretty simple process. And it kind of gave you some idea of how you can do things with the WISE camera. For 20 bucks you're not going to find a better indoor camera to use, especially with it being 1080p and a two-way audio, as well as night vision. Uh, I mean, this camera can be great for like a, a baby monitor or even a uh, pet cam to keep an eye on your pets when you're away from home. So definitely worth checking out Wise uh, family of products. Let's go ahead and do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course, for starters, we unboxed the device. Uh, once we did that, we went through and set up the WISE camera in the WISE app. Uh, once we got it set up, then we also went through putting some custom firmware on there so that we could add the RTSP stream into Home Assistant. And then, of course, lastly, I showed you what that looks like in action. That's the end of the video, guys. Again, I want to thank everybody that has donated to my Buy Me a Coffee link. Every little bit helps. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to, uh, head over to Teespring and the link listed in the description below. And you can take a look at the Burns Home Automation merchandise. Uh, as always, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.